right, well, I'm here with Alex again. This time mm -hmm. we're talking Ordovox. So maybe yes. just give a bit of an introduction to Ordovox. And I know Ordovox is known for quite a bit, but uh, mm -hmm. today we're going to be talking a lot about a lot of apparel. So yeah, maybe just give a background. Of course. So Ordovox was founded uh, in 1980 uh, or 81 um, with the world's first uh, dual band beacon. Um, you know, so we have our background in avalanche safety, we have our background in ski touring, um, and we've never really strayed far from there. Um, moving um, very quickly through um, from the beacon, uh, you know, there was uh, a desire or a need seen rather um, for uh, a better backpack to carry all of your avalanche safety essentials. Um, you know, up until that point, there was not a specific avalanche safety pocket featured in, in packs and Ordvox were the ones to develop that, um, as well as largely that rear back panel opening mm -hmm. um, in the mid to late 80s. From there, uh, yeah, then there was a desire to start to not just protect mountaineers when an avalanche happens, but to protect uh, mountaineers and ski tours all day with clothing. Um, so in the early 90s, uh, you know, that's when the product development started on um, Ortovox clothing. Uh, you know, we do consider ourselves wool experts. We have used wool from day one, um, <laughs> even all the way back to the early 90s. Yeah. Uh, so wool features across our line. Um, we use merino when it's next to skin. Uh, you know, we do have a wool promise. We work with four, um, soon to be six, uh, merino farms in Tasmania. Yes. Um, it is the finest, um, you know, the finest wool we can, we can find. Um, it's the lowest micron. It's, you know, thinner and softer even than human hair. Um, and then from there, um, for the mid layers, that's where we actually start to use Swiss wool. Um, you can think of that as sort of that boiled wool, you know, your grandma's old scratchy sweater <laughs> kind of wool. Um, it still has incredible insulation properties, you know, incredible um, body temperature regulation properties. But when you put it in a liner, it gets a lot more comfortable. Um, so, you know, it stays warm when wet, but it has that coziness of down, you know, as since it is a natural fiber. Um, and then all the way up to the shells, you know, we will still use wool and shells. Um, some people don't believe us, but um, even if it's a little merino piece just at the zipper guard to protect your chin so it doesn't chafe, um, to, uh, we'll get to this in a minute, we do have fully wool lined shells as well. Awesome. Well, then I guess we'll start with the base layers. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so all base layers are merino. Um, uh, uh, on the far left hand side, we have our newest addition to the base la layer lineup. That is Thermo Vent. Um, available in men's and women's hooded and crew neck. Uh, it is a 3D knit 100% merino uh, base layer. Um, cameras are probably picking up you can see uh it's definitely um you know a little bit fashion forward with those uh, with that ventilation um but as such it provides incredible warmth with the merino um but also incredible breathability mm -hmm. um it's you know for quite uh, ambitious ski tours for mm -hmm. sure um you know we're going to be out all day maybe in a wide range of conditions and you really just can't have any moisture buildup whatsoever yeah so with the obvious perforations there you can tell that it's definitely built around a lot of breathability Exactly. And then what do we have next? Uh, right next to that is going to be the 120 comp. Uh, so this just had, uh, was recently revamped. Um, it is our lightest weight base layer. Um, has a slightly higher elastic con uh, content in it. Um, and that's when we give it the comp um, designation. Um, so super lightweight. Um, also for pretty, you know, ambitious tours or warmer temperatures too. It's a great spring layer. Mm -hmm. um, we do also do, um, across the entire base layer line, um, a boot cut option, effectively. We call it a short pant. Um, so we do offer short pant and a long pant. Um, so that way, you know, for those that don't like the extra base layer going into the boot or don't want to roll it up, um, you know, they have that option. And honestly, once you go into that short pant, you usually don't go back because yes. um, it's so much more comfortable um, for most people. Um, yeah, then moving on, we have uh, 185, and that is probably uh, the bread and butter of our base layer system. Mm -hmm. um, extremely popular because it just does everything well. It is mid-weight, you can dress it up for extra cold days. Uh, you know, since it is fully merino, it will help regulate your body temperature um, on those warmer days. You know, you can lighten it up and it will still perform uh, fabulously, mm -hmm. keep you nice and cool. Um, and yeah, because of its 100% merino content, just incredibly soft and incredibly comfortable. Um, I mean, I'll even sometimes wear my base layers just around the house into the spring because they're just so fantastically uh, comfortable. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm noticing some crew necks, some mm -hmm. hoods. I mean, is there some options there among each one or how does that work? Absolutely, yes. Um, 
the uh, 120 comp comes in a crew neck and a hooded option. Uh, 185 comes in a zip neck or a um, or a crew neck option, as you can see. Um, and then last, the 230 comp uh, comes in a zip neck and a crew neck. Uh, 230 comp is going to be my favorite. Um, I think for our you know maybe slightly colder Colorado days, um, it's really fantastic midwinter. Um, yeah, uh, it is body mapped as you can see. Um, so there is, uh, there are sections that might have a slightly higher merino content to keep you warmer, while other sections for breathability um, will boost the elastine, um, and it, that really helps it keeps its shape. Um, I've been in the 230 comp here a whole week. Um, you know, because it doesn't stretch out, I've been able to just use one set for the entire week, nice. air it out at night. It doesn't stink. Um, yeah, and it's been my go-to for skiing here in Colorado for since I actually started working for the company. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. And just uh, to be more specific, does this lineup mm -hmm. look the same for both men and women? Yes, exactly. Um, so Ordovox has a really fantastic gender parity. Um, the entire line is available for both men and women. Um, and women even have a couple extra pieces that the men don't get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Well, let's move on to the next step in the layering system from there. Sounds great. All right. All right. Moving on to mid layers. What do we have here? Uh, so here we have uh, three uh, new uh, or updated pieces uh, in our free ride collection. Um, so on the left hand side, we have the, it is a mouthful, uh, Fleece Grid Plus Classic Knit Hoodie. Um, so it does use uh, a grid fleece, uh, you know, Polar Tech Power Grid um, uh, is going to be similar to it, um, but ours is 100% merino. So it does still have that uh, warmth, but incredible uh, breathability of grid fleece um, with the coziness of merino. Uh, and then, yeah, we added, uh, since we are a wool company, um, we did add that sort of classic knit front to it um, for a little bit of extra warmth. Um, you know, definitely toasty under a shell um, for, you know, for those really bone chilling uh, Crested Butte days. Yes, like like this morning. Yes, like exactly like this morning. <laughs> awesome. And yeah. um, we're looking at the women's, I imagine. Correct. The, yes. the men's is pretty much the same? Yes, uh, just about the exact same except for the cut. The materials used are the same. Um, pocket placement's the exact same. Um, so yeah, and you know, incredible parity. Perfect, hmm? and what do we have next? Uh, this will be actually one of my favorites. Uh, next up is the Piz Badus. Um, it exists currently, uh, it gets a light update, uh, just some pocket adjustments, um, as well as a slight materials update, I believe, for the face fabric. Uh, it uses a 60 gram, so our lightest weight uh, Swiss wool interior. Um, it's just pretty fantastic for everything. Um, I will wear it under a shell um, on, you know, cold to sort of uh, mid warmth days. Um, it's highly breathable, um, it is, you know, fantastic on its own for spring skiing. Uh, it will shed just enough water and slush and, you know, in the corn snow. Um, but uh, it is, you know, manages to regulate temperature extremely well, um, especially with its breathable merino fleece side panels um, that extend up into the underarm. Um, it is quite fantastic at regulating your temperature. And I know you mentioned you use mm -hmm. wool as an insulator. So yes. do you want to speak to maybe just some of the differences that someone might find from wool versus like down, which is what we see a lot of, but mm -hmm. especially when it comes to like working or sweating or just kind of, you know, going uphill or whatever it may be on a really cold day. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you just get the incredible temperature regulation of wool um, down, you know, tends just to build up heat pretty consistently, mm -hmm. no matter what you're doing. It's very easy to overheat and down. Um, I mean, I run warm and I just fundamentally can't imagine ever wearing a down <laughs> piece to go skinning. Um, and I would, <laughs> would probably die of dehydration. <laughs> um, whereas wool, yeah, um, you know, it wicks moisture through off of your skin um, and passes it through, evaporates it very quickly. Um, it is very hydrophobic um, in that regard, and it's just um, you know absolutely incredible. When it does entirely soak through, though, unlike down, it will also still keep you warm. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so should it, you know, if you're in the Pacific Northwest and maybe you're getting just absolutely dumped on um, with wet snow or at lower altitudes, even rain, um, if it soaks through, you can still get a, get after it because it will uh, maintain your body temperature. Nice. Yeah, those are some good things to highlight because mm -hmm. that's a, a unique thing of Ortovox. Yes. Um, yeah, to our knowledge, we're uh, some of the only folks using wool um, at this scale for insulation. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And what do we have next? 
Uh, new for 23-24, uh, this is the Piz Senyas jacket. Uh, very similar to the Piz Badus. Um, it just takes the warmth up a notch. Mm -hmm. um, so we use uh, a uh, 90 gram instead of the 60 gram uh, wool uh, in the chest and torso, um, as well as over the shoulders and down the outsides of the arm. Um, instead of having fleece panels on the inside, that's where we use the 60 gram uh, wool, Swiss wool material for insulation. Um, so again, probably Probably the step up in warmth for those really cold days like this morning. Um, I was out in this too um, this morning. Um, and, you know, thankfully once I got skiing was just absolutely perfect. Um, yeah, great layering piece as well. Um, it does only come in a jacket. We are not going to offer this in a hooded uh, version yet. Um, so sometimes nice uh, to not have, you know, three hoods kind of sticking up and out behind your neck. Um, that's what I've certainly really appreciated about it. All right, well now on to some of the Ordovox outerwear. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to start? Uh, we can probably start with um, our uh, longest running uh, <laughs> free ride jacket, uh, the Guardian. Um, so this has been in the line uh, for, gosh, probably close to 10 years now. Um, the Guardian, uh, throughout its uh, duration, has been uh, an entirely merino line shell. Um, so we are unique in that regard. Uh, we are the only uh, you know, brand issuing um, a, a shell jacket and matching pant um, that have a full merino liner. So what that does is it helps wick uh, moisture away from your body even faster and helps uh, just push it through the membrane and out of the jacket. Um, so the breathability is incredible, um, but you do, again, also get that coziness of wool. Um, it is a fantastic, uh, you know, resort uh, free ride jacket. Um, great for a, probably some more colder temperatures. Um, definitely on those, you know, spring skiing days, it gets a little toasty. Mm -hmm. um, does help maintain your temperature, but um, it is gonna be our heaviest jacket and our absolute warmest jacket um, in the free ride lineup. So we don't call it necessarily insulated, but it is lined. Correct. Yeah, that's probably the best way to think <laughs> of it. It's Interesting. And I am <laughs> noticing just a pretty <laughs> wide waistband. Is there anything you wanna mention there? Absolutely, yeah. So the pant uh, goes up quite high. Um, well above the hips, uh, just for added coverage. Um, you know, again, um, we see lots of folks like to take out their powder skirts. Um, and so this way it just gives you coverage for, you know, deep snow and those sort of colder days. Yeah, no cold wind going up the back. No, <laughs> thankfully no. <laughs> awesome, where to next? Mm -hmm. Uh, next up, uh, a recent addition to the free ride lineup, uh, the Deep Shell. Mm -hmm. um, this is my absolute favorite because of its versatility. Um, it features merino panels uh, in key areas. Uh, so in the middle of the torso uh, is some merino panels. Otherwise, uh, it's just your classic three layer shell. Um, so light and packable, um, but still uh, adds just a little bit of warmth um, for those resort days. Um, incredibly breathable still, however, um, across the entire line, we use uh, variations of Dermazax. Uh, it's EV um, for those gearheads in the uh, in the Guardian shell, uh, whereas the rest of the line will actually use uh, Dermazax NX uh, for more breathability. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, I've hiked the bowl, uh, sorry, Highlands Bowl, uh, in my deep shell <laughs> without taking it off uh, and haven't been sweaty at the top. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. Um, it is also the only uh, line um, in the free ride collection that comes in a bib option as well. So that was an extremely popular addition, uh, something us in North America had been asking for for years, um, and now we finally have it. Um, the bib also features uh, a stretch back as well. Mm -hmm. So it is um, incredibly well fitting, um, gives you still a lot of freedom of movement in it as well. Awesome, and would you say there's quite a bit of versatility there between touring and resort if someone's kind of looking for one thing that does it all? Yeah, I would say so. Um, yeah, I've toured in my deep shell kit, yeah, across the Rockies and have couldn't be happier with it. Um, you know, we are somewhat spoiled. I do have, of course, you know, one of our lightest weight touring shells and oftentimes I'll still just reach for my deep shell if I don't know what the day holds. All right, well there we have some look at some carryovers with new mm -hmm. colors, some pro uh, products you guys have had in the line for a long time, but mm -hmm. what do we have new for the 23-24 season? Of course, uh, yeah, we have some really exciting additions to the free ride lineup. Uh, first is gonna be the Masola uh, jacket and pant. Um, it is a hybrid construction, so it does feature, uh, yeah, that Dermazax membrane uh, on, um, you know, more uh, wind and precipitation affected areas. Uh, so chest, shoulders, upper back, um, and then covering the hood as well. Um, and then on the pants on, you know, on your thighs, um, 
uh, uh, but that is mixed with a soft shell material. Um, so it is soft shell uh, otherwise uh, on the seat, on the back, and on the lower arms for breathability. Uh, I could see this being incredibly popular uh, in the Rockies, you know, Colorado, Utah, um, just because it is pretty dry climate. So I mean, yeah. yeah, it could work for some of those days where you need a little bit more breathability and maybe a little bit less like protection. Exactly. Yes. Um, but you do hopefully have just enough protection that, you know, if a snow shower does come your way, um, you're not going to be absolutely soaked. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely fit for sort of the ambitious free rider as well. Mm. Um, yeah, for those sunny days, great for, you know, hiking to lines, um, whether it's, you know, from the summit here, main shoot at Baldy, Highlands Bowl, um, or beyond as well. Um, you know, going to be great for the slack country rider as well, getting out of bounds. Um, you know, you have that protection from the wind. Um, if you are just riding lifts with the hard shell material, but then that breathability and freedom of movement with a soft shell material for when you duck out of the gate. Excellent. And, uh, what do we have after that? Mm -hmm. Last but certainly not least uh, is going to be the new Ravine kit, um, which does include an all new backpack from us as well. Um, so the Ravine kit is extremely lightweight, hard shell, um, only features, yeah, that small tab of Merino right at the chin just for uh, some anti-chafing. Yeah. Um, it is uh, a free ride fit, um, you know, it is somewhat similar to our Ortler series, but definitely less of a touring fit, more of a free ride fit, and meant to do double duty inbounds and out of bounds. Awesome. So when it comes to the Ravine kit, what were some of the things that Ortobox was really focusing on? Yeah, we were just looking to better outfit more ambitious free riders. Um, you know, the kind of skier that wants to uh, have a hard day charging inbounds um, with maybe some tours out of bounds in the side country um, or, yeah, hiking to those uh, boot packing, skinning, hiking to those sort of more ambitious lines um, that might still lie technically inbounds. Um, so it is more packable, um, you know, again, still highly, highly breathable. We hope that you don't even have to take it off for, you know, those, those boot packs. Um, but then, yeah, if you do, it's quick and easy to stash, um, stash in your pack. And then how does the backpack kind of pair with mm -hmm. that? Or what are some of the features of the pack that accented that kit? Exactly. Um, so this is the ravine pack here. Um, again, it is, you know, aimed at free riders, but we decided to uh, to help speed them up, provide them with some uh, usually schema features. Mm -hmm. um, so it does have a quick fix system on it as well. Um, so again, if you are, you know, just hiking up 15 minutes or so and you don't want to take off your pack to load your skis mm -hmm. up, you can just throw them in the quick fix. Uh, it does also have uh, a quick zip uh, skin or crampon pocket on the bottom uh, that does drain as well. So again, hopefully we are preventing some clumping on some skins for some uh, spring tours. Uh, you know, for the most ambitious, there is uh, an extremely lightweight ax carry uh, included uh, and built in. Um, and then we were just trying to sort of lighten the pack. Um, you know, instead of a zippered avalanche safety pocket, it is just covered um, by the external flap that covers the uh, the drawstring carry up top. Um, there is actually no back access. This is one of the very few ski packs that for Ortovox that does not have back access. It just has um, a full length dip zipper down one side of the pack. Um, and yeah, features lighter weight materials, um, cut out hip fins, uh, and very you know thin straps. Again, just trying to get the weight down as much as possible um, for those free riders that are just absolutely charging in bounds, out of bounds, and sort of everywhere in between. Nice. Well, thanks for walking us through that and all the differences. I mean, it seems like there's quite a bit of versatility and a little bit of something for everyone here. Mm -hmm. When it comes to overall materials, what is Ordebox sort of utilizing and how are they approaching that process? Yeah, so Ortovox is uh, consistently expanding uh, recycled materials, uh, when it, especially on the hard shell front. Um, merino wool, we tend to recycle a little bit less. Um, we do recycle it. It generally actually just goes into our glove collection. Um, uh, uh, but besides that, too, uh, we have been PFC free um, across the entire line, um, or PFAS, as they're mm -hmm. um, increasingly commonly known, uh, as well as uh, climate neutral for the entire free ride collection as well for 23-24. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Alex. Mm -hmm. It's really great to hear from you and uh, both Ordevox. We also heard a bunch about packs from Deuter. And of mm -hmm. course, we can't wait to see you at Summit next year. Likewise. Yeah, we can't wait to come back to ski here. Mm -hmm. <laughs>